Well, it's played a crucial role in the presidency so far of Barack Obama. Without it, many people say he wouldn't be as good as he is behind the podium. The infamous teleprompter. It has no doubt been the butt of many jokes. Even the vice president getting in on the action after the wind blew over the word machine during a recent speech. What am I going to tell the president when I tell him his teleprompter is broken? <laughs> what will he do then? So we figured it's time to actually meet the teleprompter. James Rosen is live in Washington for us. And James, I know I wouldn't be as good as I am without a teleprompter. Oh, Shane, not at all. <laughs> to be fair and balanced about this, Rick, TOTUS, teleprompter of the United States, has been a staple of better presidential living since the 1950s, but it just seems Frankenstein-like to have taken on a life of its own in this administration. For example, forget Vice President Biden's joke at his boss's expense at the Air Force Academy on Wednesday. VP TOTUS called attention to itself at an Amtrak event at Union Station two months ago, almost decapitating that poor lady on the right of your screen and making itself highly conspicuous with those Q-tip-style white pads. Similarly, during the president's announcement of Judge Sotomayor's nominee, nomination for the Supreme Court this week, there was TOTUS obscuring part of the nominee's face. Greedy TOTUS is, a jealous mistress where the president's attentions are concerned, and never more so than when Mr. Obama has betrayed old TOTUS and found himself a sporty newer model to step out with. As at a White House conference or press, press event on March the 30th, there you see it, the public debut of Monster Prompter. If late night comedians thought that they had finally discovered a soft spot for this quintessentially and unusually cool commander in chief, Mr. Obama himself, smartly embracing the doctrine of preemption, did it for them at the White House Correspondents Dinner earlier this month. Tonight I want to speak from the heart. I'm going to speak off the cuff. Now, of course, teleprompters are also used quite frequently in the delivery of television news, but not by principled reporters of integrity like me. We would never surrender our conscience to a convenient gadget just for the sake of looking... You... 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 What the... you saw just now? <coughs> these, are my... these are my teeth. These are actually my teeth. <coughs> Rick, uh, I don't feel so good. No, I don't blame you. You don't look so good either with the thing. Are you all right? Uh, I, no. <clears throat> Get him a glass of water. Get James a glass of water. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you very much, my friend. We appreciate the report from DC. <laughs>